In this tutorial we are going to share a folder. I am going to show you how to create a shared folder and as you remember from previous tutorials we have this Windows 11 machine and we have this Windows 11-2 machines. In real world scenarios these will be your real computers but I am doing this on VirtualBox. If you want to see the full tutorial find the link in description and in first comment of this video. Now we will be going to our first machine which is Windows 11 and we will be creating a shared folder in that drive or in that partition, disk partition which we created in previous tutorial. So open a file explorer, go to this PC and as you can see here is our drive which we created in previous tutorial, data drive E, click into it and here in this data drive E we will create a folder. So right click and go to new and here select folder and we will call this folder PC1. So we know that we have created this folder on this computer which is in our scenario Windows 11 machine and to share this folder right click on this folder and select properties here in this PC1 properties as you can see this tab click into the second tab sharing and here click on this tab advanced sharing click into this checkbox share this folder and here you will also see this tab at the very bottom permissions or this button permissions click into this button permissions here you can select who you want to share it with as you can see you can add by clicking this button add if you want to share it with specific users or you can remove it and currently I will be sharing this with everyone so I will leave there everyone and here in this second tab you where it says permissions for everyone you can see that currently they have permissions only of read but I will give here allow full control so pretty much I will allow them to do everything in this folder and once you have done this click on apply and click on ok here also click on apply and click on ok and now let's set the network security and to do that here once you are still in this PC1 properties tab here select this security tab under the group and usernames click on edit as you can see there is this button add click on this add and here in this field where it says add let's enter everyone as you remember we allowed to share this with everyone and once you have entered everyone here click on this check names click on ok and everyone will be entered as you can see here and here in this second box make sure that everyone is selected and you can assign permissions as you can see if you hover all different of these groups they will have different types of permissions so click on everyone and you can assign them different permissions for example if we would want to give a full control then we will check this very top box it would give us a full control so I will do it in our scenario but in future you can give them only read or write permissions in that scenario remove full control and assign them particular permission which you would like to give them. and once you have done this like I mentioned I will add the full control click on apply click on ok and click on close here and now we have shared this folder and to make sure that we have shared this folder on this network with this work group we now need to go to another computer and to check whether we are able to access this PC one folder which is located on this our first machine and to be able to see whether we are able to access this machine we will need two things we will need the IP address of this Windows 11 11 machine where we created this folder and we will need this folder's name also. So let's first check the IP address which we also set a static in previous tutorials like I mentioned if you want to check all the all the list of these tutorials find the link in description or in first pinned comment. So here in search type in cmd hit enter and type in IP config to see the IP address of this machine. And here we can see that IP address of this machine where we created this folder is 192.168.1.20. So what we need to do is go to other machine, to other computer which is in our scenario Windows 11-2. And here let's open a file explorer, let's open any folder and here in the top tab click on the right somewhere and type in backslash backslash and type in this IP address of that first machine which was 192.168.1.20 and backslash and also folders name as you remember we named this folder PC1. 
and hit enter. And currently you can see that we are actually in this PC1 folder. We entered it because if we will click here in the very first tab on IP address, you can see this PC1. If we click into this PC1, for example, let's create another folder in this PC1 and I will call this folder PC2. So this means that we have created another folder within this PC1, we called it PC2. And we can now easily check whether we are able from these two machines to edit to manage all these folders which are in this PC1 folder. And to do that we go back to our first machine where we originally created or hosted this PC1 folder which was Windows 11 machine. Let's open a file explorer and let's go into this PC where is our E drive or data drive E. Let's click into it. This is the folder which we created and if we click into it we can see that folder which we created from our other machine from our other PC too. So this means that now we from both of these machines we can access this PC1 folder which is in our data drive E and which is hosted on this very first machine and where we can share files and folders within this PC1 folder. So yes guys, hope that you found this video useful. If you did leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one.